All right, I searched on Google and found this interior. However, usually this techniques not match fine, especially if you have the angled camera. You could use Parallax OS all shaders image file for your 3D if you're a 3D artist. Easily you could make Lux 3D interiors with a simple plane or box. And I searched few interiors, honestly didn't find any good acceptable images, but they could be matched a bit. Or you could even cheat, for example, grab a photos from your current buildings. But just let's first make a mask and simple interior to check it is working or not. So I drag one of my interiors into the document and arrange it to the correct place. All right. That's fine for now. It's front of the building, behind the car, blocks, and street lights. So again, I hold on the control or command key and click to make mask. Or you could just re-enable this wire color layer. Again, enable magic wand. This time enable contiguous and click shift click for windows to pick them. I could reduce from selection later on, no worries. Hide it. Allow me to enable move tool, right click and find that layer. All right. And create mask. Now unlink the mask from your layer, click on the layer and control or command T. I'm zooming out, hold on the shift key and resize it. Check it is matching or not. Again, it is better to use your 3D software and if it is getting too heavy, you could apply OSL shader. But as just simple interior i'm trying to make some kind of interior here to check it is working or not definitely camera angle not horizontally and vertically matched but still you could try to some kind of cheat no worries much here about distortion so even if i make it shorter is nothing noticeable and actually getting more match with our current camera we have windows here and very bright it doesn't match if even flip horizontally still doesn't match fine but just i brought that as reference i hold on the control or command key and click on the mask Enable a polygonal, but it is almost straight. You could even use rectangular. Hold on the alter option key and deselect any places you don't want to affect for now. All right, click on the mask, brush, black color, and maybe less follow about 10 15 percent. And Allow me to decrease the spacing and soft. Okay, maybe something like that is fine. Also for here, I could totally remove this section. And this time I could do overall. Allow me to decrease opacity maybe about 10% slowly. Okay, I'm trying to bring back a bit windows, glasses and shaders. All right, to get a bit fit more match. Even you could reselect any places you want. Choose your original layer, control or command J. And bring it up. Control command J. Yeah, it is here. You see, you could simply make it brighter or darker. I think one layer is enough. And selecting this interior again, 
image adjustment exposure let's add exposure a bit to get brighter all right we're making brighter because of glasses we have some reflections it is nice maybe even less gamma okay control or command m and make it even brighter maybe more contrast with making a curve shape you could make contrast fine here for middle brights and here for gray and because it is curves making smoothly nice a bit red values maybe and a bit green values to get yellow not too intense and maybe decrease blue values okay and still if you need more reflection more light you could decrease that top layer of reflection right click and i think this is the layer you could disable or enable or just set opacity maybe 50 percent for blooming effect i control click make a solid color because it was selected so made mask automatically let's set but orangish ah this side could be fixed okay not too intense hold on the alter option click on the mask i want to make this side totally black alt or option delete and control or command l make it brighter to have more clear mask and here okay i could change it to linear dodge even color dodge with less opacity or overlay now i'm selecting the mask filter blur a bit gaussian blur to make leak out the light for blooming effect let's see is this working nice or not you see it's leaking a bit out but not too intense i think for blending could change to the soft light or even linear dodge yeah i'm doing linear dodge but with more blurness you could use radial blur zoom and of course you have to find the correct position maybe somewhere like that sadly we don't have preview okay filter blur radial blur this time much stronger to check it is nice working or not maybe here i'm not sure okay not bad filter blur again radial blur a bit down and maybe right okay it's not leaking too much up still you could do it select the mask brush very soft with less flow maybe with white color and you see you could increase the bloom effect all right maybe too intense or better even use opacity to set exact value for all places 20 i think we need larger softer so make it bigger brush from down click and shift click all right now i could decrease opacity and you could change the color anytime you like just double click and change light check i think this is too dark especially for glass so maybe disable this glass reflection allow me to find this interior okay i think exposure is too intense maybe less and control or command u maybe shift the color to be a bit more orangish reddish color overall light could adjust here too but it is like offset 
this is not so nice and image adjustment brightness and contrast increase contrast increase brightness all right right click and color fill what is this layer yeah we know we don't need this you could even disable it to have more reflection and also you could decrease a lot of values just have very subtle interior you see without and with just give you a demonstration of interior maybe 25% enough and okay